I'm Molly Armstrong. And I'm Garrett Liff Weiss. And welcome to this week's episode of SBSN. And welcome back. As you can tell, Molly, my hair is gone. It's all gone. You sad? Uh, you know, a little bit. But it's better to work with. Mm. I donated eight inches though, so that's pretty cool. It's gonna go to uh, It's a really good cause. Wigs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go over some things that have already happened. And one of those things that have already happened is the literary club went on a field trip. I'm not sure where they went, but I think that they went to the book loft. Okay. Well, one of our field reporters, Sarah, which went on this trip too, can tell you a little bit more about this literary club meeting. <laughs> Out to you, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Molly and Garrett. As the year comes to a close, Piketon High School's Literary Club have recently had their last meeting and went on their annual field trip. Literary Club is a fun way to connect with other students and share a mutual love of books, and the field trip at the end of the year certainly sweetens the deal. Literary Club members, along with the club advisor Miss Day, travel to the historic German village in Columbus to visit a local bookstore and have lunch. The bookstore is a fantastic experience named the Book Loft, and the restaurant the Mohawk has delicious cuisine and even boasts a menu with turtle soup. All members that have read at least four out of the five books assigned this year were eligible to go, along with the top four students in Miss Day's College Prep and General English One classes. The books read this year include The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith, Fangirl by Rainbow Rao, I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson, and Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. The trip was a fantastic way to end the year, and everyone in Literary Club, myself included, had a marvelous time. Signing out for the last time, I'm Sarah Gilman, SVSN. Back to you, Molly and Garrett. Thank you, Sarah. That field trip looked pretty fun. It really did. But I don't read books, so... We know. Okay. <laughs> now, Garrett, did you hear about the highway that was closed because a potato truck crashed and there were potatoes all over the road. Yeah, Molly, I think I did hear about that. And that sounds pretty funny. It does sound pretty funny. And I think our field reporter, Patrick, has a, a nice story uh, on the incident. I'm sure he has a fantastic story on this. Out to you, Patrick. Hola, in Spanish doesn't mean potato, but it does mean hi. I'm Patrick Kelly Jenkins here with some general news. Today, we're gonna to talk about potatoes. Papas. Papas, papas fritas, right? That in Spanish means french fries. Glad I knew that. But anyways, we're gonna talk about North Carolina. Why North Carolina? Because Tar Heels are awesome. No, not Tar Heels. Wait, it was because of a spill? Yeah, and not a famine, a spill. They were everywhere. Potatoes all over the highway, people. Potatoes! Mashed potatoes. No, just potatoes in a semi-truck all over Interstate 77. Wait, wait, what, what shape was the potatoes? Like me! Because I look like a potato. Anyways, that was my general news. Back to you, Molly, here. Thanks, Patrick. It was a very interesting you know story. What? I can't imagine not being able to drive because potatoes were on the road, but you know. It might happen one day. It, well, it has happened. Well, for us. Uh, anyway. Yeah. All right, so back to the donating of the year. Um, I donated it for St. Baldrick's. And we did have St. Baldrick's a little late this year, but for a good reason, to save up even more money. And um, I think one of our field reporters, Terrence Smith, has a little overview of St. Baldrick's. Talk to you, Terry Terry. Thanks, Molly and Garrett. Here's a recap of last Friday's St. Baldrick's fundraiser. Last Friday, Piketon High School hosted their annual St. Baldrick's fundraiser. St. Baldrick's is a foundation where money is raised to find a cure for childhood cancer. Ms. Bentley had many fundraisers, including games, bake sales, candy sales, auctions, and raffle tickets for two meet-and-greet Luke Bryan tickets. Many students and staff members raised money to shave their heads and donate their ponytails. St. Baldrick's raised over $7,900. Back to you, Molly and Garrett. Thank you, Taryn. You know, I love going to a school that cares so much about this subject, and we do raise up a lot of money. We do. Lots of money. We do. It's all for a right cause. Now, 
And this past weekend, our band, which I'm involved in, had our spring concert. How'd that go? It went pretty well. We had a standing ovation, so. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, do we have a story on this band concert? Yes, we do, actually. Our fear reporter, Andrew, has a little story on the band concert. Last Sunday was the final concert for the Rock and Restrict Band. Let's take a closer look. May 15th was our band's last performance to end the school year. Songs they played included The Seal Lullaby, Quiet Rain, Allied Honor, The Mozart Suite, and American River Songs. There are many awards passed out, such as the Section Leader Award handed to Adam Smith and Destiny Smith for the flute section, Brandy Carson for the clarinets, Wesley Harris and Melody Atkins for the saxophones, Sidney Flesher for the French horns, Ira Hablitzel for the trumpets, Shanna Tatillion for the low brass, and Hannah Rigsby for the percussion. The Restrict Band never disappoints, and we will miss all the graduating seniors. Here's a video of their final performance. Thanks, Andrew. And if any of you guys didn't get to make it to the band concert, you really did miss out. I'm sorry. I did not make it. But I heard it was great. Okay, so for upcoming events, a mighty fine gamers club is having an end of the year event. Mm -hmm. May 27th. I'm not sure what that event will have, but I know someone that does know. Who's that? It is Hank, mm -hmm. one of our field reporters. Re field reporters. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little emotional because, you know, this is our last podcast. But we can't cry yet. Out to you, Hank. Hi, it's Hank Sparkman here, and this May 27th, in the high school cafeteria, from 5 p.m. sharp, there's going to be a Gamers Club event, Magic the Gathering Tournament. If you want to be in it, message Braley Spencer, Alex Bond, or Ira Hablitzel, and tell them you want to be in it. If you want to be in the drawing for cards, bring three booster packs, and make sure to tell Alex Bond. Back to you, Molly and Garrett. Thank you, Hank. And... If you guys want to go to that event, you should because it looks pretty fun. Yep. Now, we're nearing the end of the year, which means that it's about time to say goodbye to our seniors. Adios. Unfortunately. They have a lot going on. They do. So we have some important information for our seniors from our field reporter, Brandon. Out to you, Brandon. Tuesday, May 24th, senior versus staff basketball game starting at 1.30 p.m. Awards Day, Wednesday 25th, 9 a.m. Senior Breakfast, Friday, May 27th at 8 o'clock. Graduation Practice, Friday, May 27th at 9 a.m. Graduation Sunday at May 29th. Senior Report at 2.30, doors open to the public at 4 p.m. Graduation starts at 5 p.m. Thanks, Brandon. Seniors, remember that. And anybody else for next year that's going to be seniors. So, uh, last week's podcast, we had the last Wigsies episode, which is kind of sad. Yep. We didn't really tell you, but it's a surprise. And um, this week is going to be your last episode for one of the segments that are very close to our hearts. Brunch with Peter. Brunch with Peter. So, you want to take it out there? So... For the last time, let's take it out to SVSN's very own Be Daddy. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Fruit salad, yummy in my tummy. And hamburgers and hot dogs and coleslaw and potato salad. We're talking about the good stuff today, everybody, because it's summer. This, it's a, it's a sad but happy day today. You're, you're watching the last episode ever of Run For Be Dad. And we're talking about the good stuff. Hamburgers, hot dogs, throw some pulled pork in there, maybe grill a little chicken. And then you know what? That, that's all good stuff. And here, here's what we're doing. We're going to grandma's house She's having a little family get-together swim party, you know, and you're wondering what we're having to eat. 
You know, they're probably having either grilled chicken, the hamburgers, the hot dogs, maybe a little pulled pork in there, some nice fresh desserts, fruit salad, potato salad, coleslaw, potato salad, even macaroni salad. I mean, good stuff happens in the summer. I mean, you can have your own party, your grandma can have a party, I can have a party, but make sure you're grilling the good stuff. Okay, and the best part about summer, there's this thing, there's this big old machine, it takes like a gas or something in it, some of them do, and you say, Dad, I want chicken. And you know what? He goes to Richie's and buys himself some chicken. And then he comes home and puts it on the grill. That's the best part about summer, the grill. I mean, you don't need a crock pot, you don't even need a cook inside. You don't need fried chicken in the summer. You just need a grill. This has been Brunch with B Dad, the very last episode, and I'm going swimming. Thanks, B Dad. Thank you. That was a great last segment. Yep. And speaking about last, this will probably be the last time you see Molly and I because. It's our last broadcast. It is. It is our last broadcast. Yep. The end of school is coming close. But, you know, you, you live and you learn, you, you get knocked down and you get back up, you, um, you just do things and it just happens. You do things and it happens. Yep. And this is Things happening. end. We did things and now this is happening. Yep. Well, Molly. We're gonna, we're signing off for the last time, and uh, we're gonna, what do you want to do? What, what do you want to do to introduce the sports team for the last time? I don't know. You just want to just give them a good old... Point? Just, well, point off for the last time to the sports team. Goodbye, SVS and fans. I'm Garrett Lefartz. And I'm Molly Armstrong. And we're signing off and pointing it out to the sports team. Welcome back! Let's go, Sports Center segment with Patrick Kelly Jenkins, the villain anchor for Gabe Loss, whatever. Blossom? No. Gabe Blossom? I don't know. That's his dog's name. name. Um, I don't really care. And I am Bradley Von Sickles. Yeah, right. Anyways, today we're going to talk about tossing the pigskin. Pork rinds. No, like the football rind. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm kind of hungry today. You always get hungry and you think the football's pork rinds. I'm sorry. Like we're trying to record right now and you're going to talk about pork rinds. Now I'm getting kind of hungry. Anyways, we have more on the segment with Eric Mullins. Out to you, Eric. Out to you, Eric. A bunch of you guys don't know, but there's a kid from Portsmouth West High School. Played football there, started varsity, running back all four years. Broke his ankle his eighth game of his senior year. Every big college took their scholarships away from him. Went and walked on at Michigan State University. Started all four years at fullback. Got drafted by the Baltimore Ravens this year. His name is Trevin Pendleton. Hometown hero. Portsmouth. Everybody loves him. Monster, beast, integrity of a champ. Until training camp two weeks ago, he broke his foot. And now he can't play his rookie season in the NFL. Sad, sad story. Back to you, Brad and Gabe. <laughs> We're gonna miss you guys. <laughs> I don't know, Patrick Kelly Jenkins. Bradley Bonsickles. Woo!